Hello everybody. Today's illustration is called Skewered Monsters and that's exactly what it is. It's Skewered Monsters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a disclaimer here and say if you are squeamish at all or if you are easily offended please do not watch this video because you will probably be extremely horrified by this and I must admit I had a few moments when I stepped back from this picture and just went oh my god what did I just draw so yeah this picture is yeah I actually get ghost pains looking at this picture because I can actually feel the skewer going through my stomach that is a true thing and yes and this came out of my brain which is kind of frightening <laughs> very <laughs> it's not kind of frightening it's very frightening what I want to talk about today is the fact that being there's so many people being offended these days and I consider myself an offensive artist because of the content that I do draw and it, a lot of my content does not sit well with people but I'm not gonna change anytime soon being offensive as a horror artist you really are sitting on a very thin line um, and you can just cross over that line so easily with the content that horror artists draw because it is just it's just frightens people and a lot of people do question your mental capacity when you draw stuff like this and the amount of times I've had to tell people is no I am not a sick twisted person in reality I'm compl like completely the opposite like I'm a weird person I'm an eccentric person definitely 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 but I am not a cruel sadistic person but in the art world I am I'm, I'm very drawn very drawn to dark side of art and in adding all those elements into art and a lot of there were definitely a few jaw-dropping moments while drawing this because I was just like oh wow like these poor little creatures um, you know I sort of feel for them a little bit and the the creatures were meant to be way more vicious and way more hideous um, than how they ended up but they ended up being quite you know quite cute and and it sort of made me feel a little bit sorry for them. If you are offended by this picture, I do not apologize for that because this is the content that I draw. Like I said at the beginning of the video, go to another channel, don't watch my content because I'm not going to stop drawing this stuff. You know, if I don't do what I love to do and I'm just trying to please people, I am not being myself as an artist. I do this for myself and if people like to, you know, they like what I draw, by all means, follow me, you know, subscribe. Um, yeah, I will, I will take you on a gothic horror journey on my channel. You know, I know my art is offensive to many, but I don't care. Don't watch my videos. So yeah, go to another channel. You know, I'm here to serve the horror art community. I will not apologize for any of it. You know, I I enjoy the fantasy of it. That's probably the biggest thing with it. If someone came to me and said, what would your ideal life be if you could live in a fantasy world, you know, what? would it be and I would turn around and I would say to them I would love to live in a world where I am a super powerful witch there's demons everywhere there's vampires there's werewolves everything's just dark there's gargoyles that that's what I would say to them could I handle that in real life if it was actually real hell no <laughs> the sleepless nights the anxiety the fact that dying has just gone up a thousand percent more than it has now oh my god like 
yeah see that's what I mean I can't even handle seeing blood in real life but as a fantasy drawer and a fantasy you know like doing all these fantasy pictures that's what I gravitate to and I love it um, but knowing that it's not real is probably a really good <laughs> really good comfort because you know yeah it's that would be a pretty scary world to live in to the picture itself um, I had a bit of trouble blending the markers um, on this it took me ages to blend the um, the orange and the browns on the bottom looking little puffer fish thing little monster uh, I put it I've actually this realized that it could be the paper that I'm using um, all I'm using to do this like to do these pictures that I'm doing is just plain old printer paper I have not gone out yet and bought anything else um, I've been meaning to do that but just budgets not there to go out and buy some paper and you're probably going well it's not that expensive but it is to me at the moment when yeah funds are just not there I've got better things to spend that money on and as you can probably I don't know if you can see but the spike that the monsters are skewered on is actually like a little paper spike that you see on a desk where people just spike paper with put receipts on and stuff like that so if you're wondering what the creatures are didn't really go into the attentions to make them look like anything but the bottom one starting from the bottom up the bottom one looks like a puffer fish um, the next one up looks like a slug type creature the next one up looks like a troll and the top one is a little dragon type creature now I really struggled with the floor I'm not good with backgrounds and I really need to work on backgrounds um, I'm gonna try to start sort of doing some pictures with backgrounds um, because I really suck at it but I really had trouble with the floor I didn't know what to do there so I ended up just going over it with a black coloring in pencil and then I just did like an aura around the monsters like in a really really light gray just to sort of make it come through but then I had so many issues with that because this red speckle came through onto the paper and I was wondering where it was coming from and then I realized that I had actually um, some red um, marker had leaked through from a previous drawing onto the mat and when I was coloring around the monsters it seeped through so there's all this speckly red stuff around the monsters but it sort of just kind of minces in with it all because there's blood there anyway so it kind of, kind of gets a little bit disguised so that is it from me I will see you in the next video and hope you enjoy the rest of this video bye